Amazing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people may ask if you, let's say you drink ozonated water and it's going to kill a lot of the bad microbes, but what about the good microbes, the probiotics, and is, is, is it going to hurt them? It's so fascinating. Uh, healthy cells uh, and what we would call friendly bacteria know how to deal with oxygen. Oxygen mm. is actually a toxic substance. Uh, and so for listeners to understand, yeah, every time you breathe, you're breathing in a toxic substance. It's called oxygen. <laughs> uh, and uh, now, obviously, it's a relatively low level of toxicity, but it's still a toxic substance. Uh, but that's OK, because our cells in our body have the ability to deal properly with the oxygen. It's not toxic to healthy cells, but to unhealthy cells cells that are infected, cells that are toxic, uh, cells that are turning cancerous, cells that are cancerous, they can't deal with the oxygen. It will kill them. It'll leave the healthy cells alone. In fact, it'll do better than that. The ozone will make the healthy cells stronger while at the same time differentiating and knocking off the unhealthy cells. It's, It's fantastic that way. And if the same thing is true for the bacteria. So if you want to, one of the ways to treat livers, like liver disease, is to put ozone gas into the rectum, like you would a, an enema, for example. And, uh, and so, so you would think, oh, if I put the gas in there, it's going to kill all the bacteria in there. No, it doesn't. It only kills the bacteria that can't handle oxygen. And those are always the pathogenic or bad bacteria. The healthy bacteria can withstand it. 